smaller learning community. And instead of having, you know, their four classes that they go to every day, they need to feel part of the community and their cohort group. We started out, you know, we didn't really know as well what each of us was good at. As we've gone on through the project, we've figured out basically what our roles are, and I definitely think it's been a major change. from your notes, how do you think we ought to figure the assessment? Well, I, I think the question ends up, do we want to come up with a final score for each of the three components? Meeting total okay. number of points that they could earn for each of the three. And then multiply by point two, by point four, by point four, and come up with the total. Team collaboration is, is a huge part of our academy. The teachers model that in, in their collaboration, in their common planning time, getting together and planning these projects. We come together to help the students bring um, a project to fruition. And when we devise these interdisciplinary plans, what we want them to begin to understand is that subjects aren't taught in isolation. We came together to create the travel project um, on a planning day that our principal gave us off-site. And we always use a template and the template that we use has all of the core subjects that will be feeding into the project so that we can connect our standard course of study and link it very carefully with the project and the final product. The idea for the project actually came from one of the NAF conferences that I attended and when I've been there one of the things I've always tried to do is find some of the sessions that would cover uh, cross-curriculum projects. What I'm looking for is something that would allow me to, to tie in some of the things that the kids are learning in their computer classes. Where are you with your project? Uh, we got all the places that we're going to go to. We just have to get the budget down. And, uh... Okay, so the travel project that we're working on is, it's basically, we take a group, we go and we hypothetically go to a certain country and we have to create a budget and a presentation as well as a blog on all the information we're going to use. She's got the calendar. Where are we going? Ottawa, we're staying there for three days. Then we're going to... It's going to be a grade for three classes, computer apps, English, and world history. You have to experience something about their culture, their history. You have to experience different things to show what the country's about. The kids really enjoy that they have a tie-in of all their classes, so they kind of see it as less work. In all, you know, instead of having a project in every class, it's one project for all classes. Like, yeah, I didn't notice this um, and it allows like an us after. to put the soft skills into the project. And they have to decide. Who's going to decide? Are they going to have a leader that's going to make the major decisions? Are they going to be able to discuss it and come out with a, an outcome? And these are the things that we want to send them on to their other classes with, these kinds of skills. Do you have a hotel for Toronto yet? Find a hotel for Toronto. Hey, I'll do it. What are we doing in the three days? First day is the flight to Ottawa, and then we're just going to get checked in. Second day, we're going to the Canada. What we're trying to get them to understand is how world civilizations takes a part of their life. And certainly, the information helps them with making their decisions as to how they view the world, but how they view the world in reality will be how they travel in the world. All of your hotels and things that you're working with. Out? Yes, we've already got the... As teachers, we're achieving our curriculum goals while at the same time challenging the students in new ways. And for me, that's most exciting because I think they come to us from middle school and the subjects are taught in isolation. And now they're being an given an opportunity to see how subjects really don't exist in isolation. When we first present this project, you know, their initial thought is, oh, we'd go dancing, we'd go to clubs, you know, we'd go to some of the sporting events or a concert. But then when they start looking into it, they find out there's, there's areas of, of immense beauty in these countries, in the ecosystems of them. They find out there's tremendous history about some of the countries that, quite honestly, the world's of textbook, the world's of curriculum does not give full justice to. The best part of the project for me, I guess, is just learning, learning about Canada and also, like, talking to different people. And also, like, when I was talking to my friends who are in other groups, I learned about their countries and what they find. I've definitely learned how to work with people better, especially in AYT. It's helped a lot. Before and earlier schools, we didn't work together as much. I think that I've definitely learned, that, you know, how to work better with people. 
these are all skills that are going to be very useful to them in the internship and eventually you know in a career of their own someday. We often hear from internship supervisors that our students have the technical skills but also the personal skills to really do well and they're so impressed that high school students are able to do that.